What's the crack lads? Back at it again with another training guide. This time we're taking a look at Zamorano. This guy is pretty easy to train up lads because I don't think he's ever going to be worth putting in your squad too much. Yes, he has got insane player skills. Yes, he does have B rating locked as a legend or an epic player and he does have unwavering form which means his form arrow is going to be more often up than not. But... He's just not good enough, man, in my opinion, right? He's very similar to Inzaghi, but he has no acceleration. Even if you max out his acceleration, you're not going to be able to get it past, in my opinion, you're not going to be able to get it past 75, which we'll see in a second, right? Obviously, you're not going to be training up his dexterity for acceleration. It's going to be for offensive awareness, but you are going to be just kind of like tied into training this guy in a very specific way. There isn't much room to grow with him because of the way his card is set up, right? Yes, he does have good jumping, but he's only 178 centimeters. Now, that doesn't really make a difference because i've seen people out duel you know Haaland in the ball in the box um that are like say for the likes of kunde or alaba i've also seen you know messi beat um the licked in a header as well so the gameplay can be a bit crazy sometimes but more often than not you will be kind of let down by a lot of this card's lack of uh stats really i think he's probably one of the weaker ones there and look you will have guys saying that yeah i scored a goal with him he's a beast he's this he's that Everyone is different in how they play. I mean, a lot of this training guide advice is for the average player. And then obviously, you know, there is a different version of the player. If you're like a beast at the game, that's like a top one, top two division player. And you're just looking to train somebody different because, you know, you could you could be a beast with any player, right? That's kind of the difference. So he does have some fairly nice, tasty stats, right? And when we kind of highlight those, the big one is probably offensive awareness, which we're, you know, we're laying in with first time pass and one touch pass. He also has heading. He also has long range shooting and rising shots and acrobatic finishing. And he does have aerial superiority and fighting spirit. So he's a bit of a dog, lads. He's a bit of a rough, rough, rough dog. As I like to say when I'm playing with these guys, there's more to him than meets the eye with the stats, right? But 96 offensive awareness and 90 finishing are only going to get you so far if you do not have dribbling and you don't have acceleration. You need acceleration, in my opinion, to be at least over 75. And we've put 13 into this guy just to max out his offensive awareness because he is a fox in the box. You will be just kind of leaving this guy up. You maybe stick counter target on him so he doesn't waste energy coming back because his stamina is a concern as well. Um, the tight possession is a concern as well. So I definitely think that this version of him is just lit, lit, put him in the box maybe with 70 minutes on the clock, put him in for 20 minutes and just be able to kind of like, you know, score goals with him as best as you possibly can. He does have 89 header and 90 finishing and 87 jump which, you know, aerial superiority and heading, that's going to be huge. And especially acrobatic finishing um, is going to be, you know, good for that as well, right? Now, the second version of him is only a 90 rated player, okay? But don't let that put you off. I still see people ask me, oh, why is your version of this player only 92 when he goes to a 96, right? Forget what you know about players overall. The overall has no benefit at all. It's a visual thing, in my opinion. It depends on the individual stats and certain kickoffs and certain kind of stop gaps that you make between different stats and have different stats that are linking up with each other very nicely, right? There's a couple of cutoff points, right? So 90 offensive awareness and 88 finishing. We've also coupled that up with 80 jump. But the biggest difference between this card and any other card is the dribbling. Now, I've probably gone a bit overboard on the dribbling depending on how good you are at the game. I think that the acceleration here is a bit of a, still a bit of an issue. So I probably would put this down to 75, the tight possession to 75, ball control at 81, it's still over 80. And then I probably still would pump up this to get that acceleration to at least 70, right? When you have that at 70, depending on when you're going to be playing him in the game, I would then probably boost up his speed a little bit to make him a little bit more complete. But it depends on how you want to play him. I don't think that he's going to be worthwhile having him up front, especially when you look at the other players in this pack, or you've got a couple of free players in the eFootball Points shop, such as Inzaghi, or even somebody like Collar, my main man Collar, lads. There is a difference between the players and how you're going to use them. If you're looking for somebody that's going to be a really good fox in the box, there are better standard players there. But if you have your heart set on him, there's two training guides for him. So that is it for me, lads. Up next, we will have Ambrosini from AC Milan and the Epic Pack. Until next time, don't forget to subscribe. Peace.